how many three digit positive integers are there such that product of the digits is equal to 48. So this is actually one of the harder problems in GMAT and GRE and it's not as much hard as it may be a little bit more time intensive because we'll have to you know do some amount of exploration into factors of 48 and basically find you know three digits and three digits means that these are numbers from one to nine uh, whose product would basically be equal to 48 and once we find those digits we'll be able to you know generate permutations of those in order to find how many three digit positive integers are there whose product of digits would be 48. So the very first step in this process is finding those triplets of digits from 1 to 9 whose product equals 48. So in this particular exercise in the first step we need not worry about the order in which the digits appear so that we'll take care of in the next step so we start by listing out the factors of 48 and i'm basically you know just listing the prime factors of 48 here and i'm also listing the factors that are repeating for example here i have four twos one three and I'm also including 1 because we know that anything multiplied by 1, it's, it doesn't change the product, right? But 1 could be a valid digit in a 3-digit number, right? So that's why we need to consider 1. So now we begin our exploration of how many different triplets can we select whose product will still uh, be equal to 48. So for that, we just need to, you know, create some partitions around these factors, like three partitions along these factors and, in, in, and really explore different ways of creating those partitions. Now, when we create the partitions, we have to be mindful that any single, uh, you know, product within the partition cannot exceed nine because we are still considering, you know, digits from one to nine. So just be mindful of that. So let's start by considering one. So I box it out there. And then uh, with one being one of those digits, we could potentially select three twos. So that will make the product within the box eight. So eight is the other digit. And then we are left with two and three. And the triplet that we get by this fashion is basically one, eight, and six. And if we do a little bit of, you know, thinking, this is pretty much the only triplet that we can get, uh, the three-digit triplet that whose product would be 48, which includes 1. Because if we include, for example, here 1 and then 4 twos, then 4 twos within that box, we have 4 twos whose product would be 16, so that exceeds 9. So this is pretty much the only one, only triplet that we can have, uh, triplet or three digits who, whose product will be equal to 48 that includes one but there of course will be other options that don't include one so let's start finding those now so if we put a box around two so two is one of the digits what are the other uh, two digits that we could have where the product will be 48 well we could have one two and then let's uh, let's put a box around the next twos so we have two twos in the box so that's four and then we're left with two and three which makes six so two four six that seems to be a, a valid triplet are there any other triplets with two well once again we box two but this time instead of taking two twos we take all the three twos so we have the product within the box in the second box that's eight so we have 2, 8, and then we're left with 1, 3. So 2, 8, and 3. That's also a valid triplet whose product equals 48. Now, what if we start with taking two twos instead of 1, 2? So 2 and 2 within the first box, that makes 4. 
how can we select the other two boxes well we could potentially take the next two twos so so we have two twos four and then with the second box also have two twos so four and four so remember we could potentially have repeated digits in these numbers right so that's there's no no specification in the problem that says that we can't have repeated digits in these numbers so we have four four and then we are left with three and that's pretty much you know all the triplets that we can generate uh, whose product will be equal to 48 and we haven't really you know worried about the order because we could potentially you know change different order for example you know 186 could be 168 or 681 or whatever so so that's something that we are going to take care of in our second step so the second step is really you know finding out how many permutations we can generate for each of these these three digit triplets and if we add up all of these permutations for all of these cases then that will give us the total number of three digit positive integers whose product of digits would be equal to 48. So in how many ways can we you know generate permutations of numbers 186 so we have three unique digits here and we have to permute them you know taking them all together at a time so it's 3p3 or factorial 3 which will be 6 and it will be the same for 246 and 283. What about 443? Well in this case we have two identical digits, two fours. So it's good to remember here that there's a formula for permutations of n items where p items are similar to each other, uh, q items are similar to each other, and so on, is factorial n. And then in the denominator, we have basically the product of factorial p, factorial q, so on. So this is kind of doing a correction for you know, for the permutations of the similar items, which do not really generate anything unique because, because those numbers are, those items are all similar to each other. So if we apply that formula here, so we have three digits, two of which are similar. So it's factorial three divided by factorial two. So that's three. Now, all we need to do is simply add all of these permutations. And if we add them up, the, the number is 21. So the correct option in this case will be the option C, which is 21.